what are some of the key investment possibilities for shore controls? Principally, the key, one of the key investments that we made with shore controls is to really put them in a space that we can select in terms of their supply chain, where to supply and how to supply. And part of that is compliance to specifications and uh, legal requirements. And of course, to achieve that, we've had to invest in the particular designs, spending a lot of time um, unpacking what the design should look like, what the engineering uh, background should be, and of course, in respect of the international uh, specifications. So we spent a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of money to, to get to that uh, sector. And um, that's a very key, very key area for us in terms of where shore controls is going to be in the future. Uh, primarily is the pressure around what's happening in South Africa. Of course, uh, we need to gear ourselves to play in the space that's more than just in South Africa or perhaps Africa for that matter. Uh, many of our customers are building operations in Africa that uh, are requesting international specifications for, with which we, we have to comply. So we've had, we've had to make that investment to, to accommodate that. But of course, uh, globalization is a, is a big thing for us. Uh, Vega is a global player. And um, principally, the, the scenario that uh, we are targeting is for uh, Shaw to be considered as a factory of choice for certain areas of the world where it may not be that practical to supply goods out of big factories, possibly out of Brazil, for example, going to Australia. It'll be far more cost effective to supply, or at least to, to manufacture in South Africa, and then to supply from here into Australia and makes us far more competitive. So our objective is to make sure that uh, Shore Controls is in the space of being an international supplier with international approved designs and uh, the certification that goes along with that.